Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rose Room. I am back today with a very unexpected video. Um, I woke up this morning and um, I had a very important dream that needs to reach the person that it's for. And if she doesn't reach it, um, some stuff that she didn't think would happen in her life will happen in the future, in the next couple of years. And the Lord wants me to tell her this and it came in the form of a dream but it's a deeper message behind it and only I have that information. So if you guys would please, please, please like, share, um, comment, and get her attention to the video so that she can get her warning. All right, let's get this video started, you guys. So I'm gonna tell you who the video is about at the end. So you have to listen. Alright you guys, so I'm going to start um, telling you guys a dream. I wrote it down so I didn't forget anything. Alright, here we go. I had just gotten out of school. My mom picked me up and she got a call while we were in the car. And I read the screen and it said a person's name. Um, and she answered it and we were on the phone on FaceTime with her and we were asking how she had been and all this stuff and in my dream I asked her a question about Chris I let's see if you guys get that hint I asked her a question about Chris and she laughed then she asked my mom if she wanted to go on tour with her for a week and my mom said no because she had too much stuff to do and she would be busy but I told my mom to say yes because I wanted to go on tour with her and um and since my, since my mom said no, uh, Clarence's sister, I'm pretty sure you guys get the, get the, um, catch of the feel of who I'm talking about now. Clarence's sister answered the phone and, um, she said, well, would you like to be invited to one of her concerts? And I said yes. Not my mom. I said yes. So then in my dream, we fast forward to her concert and it's in a desert. And she's singing and she, she's so happy and everybody's vibing. And in my dream, she invited a special group of people, the people that she called, and they were in a VIP section of the concert. And we, um, we were watching her sing and when she was done, she got off the stage and she had like a little gated pathway to the VIP section. So she'd come there after the concert was over. And she... She was walking there, and I remember seeing her face. And throughout this whole dream, I remember her face. And usually when I have dreams, I don't remember people's faces. But I remember her name and her face. Because God wanted me to remember this dream. And she was walking over to us. And I'm looking at her. And everybody else is all screaming and stuff. And I'm the only one quiet. And I'm just, I'm just looking at her, waiting for her to get over. And... She stops, and she stops, and she looks kind of, like, confused. And she turns around, and I'm like, I yell. I, I say, queen, queen. And, it, and it's not me, like, excited and want her to come back and say hi to me. I'm warning her of something. And she didn't listen. And she walked back to the stage, and as she's walking in this concert, I'm guessing there wasn't people that she was used to being around and that she had control over who was her security. So she ended up getting kidnapped. And mind you, we were in a desert in this dream. We were in a desert. Her concert was somewhere in a desert. I don't know where. I know it was outside of the United States, though. And um, so she got kidnapped. Everybody's going crazy because... For some reason, if she was gone, we could not get back to the U.S. So, um, we all had to find our way to the U.S. Embassy in whatever country that we were in. So, I found my way back, and that's pretty much the gist of this story. Now, I'm going to tell you some little details that were in there that are just, like, fun details. And then it's going to get real serious real fast. So, when... We when she was performing, she had on this suit jacket. It was um, suit jacket and a dress that went with it. It matched. 
and it was like a very shiny um, metallic like suit and it had polka dots the background was white and the um, the polka dots were red and pink and they were like clustered really close and it looked really cute really cute fit her very well and the skirt it was like to her knees and it had these little tassels that hung off at the bottom it was really really cute outfit I was mesmerized by that I'm a fashion person so that's why um, I feel like that stood out to me in that dream also but um, just throughout the dream I was having a conversation with her on FaceTime me and my mom and I don't even know if my mom follows her the way I do but I'm not I'm not like most people that sh that are her fans I watch her to watch her progress I'm not she's not my idol she is not my god if I met her she would be just like any other person she has a job that she does and it because of what she does it allowed her to get a lot of popularity and fame which is a wonderful thing but sometimes it's a bad thing so now we get into the serious part. So now we all know who it is. It's Queen. In this dream, I'm talking about Queen Nyjah. And I'm not trying to scare her, but really this is just a warning. And I'm not even the type of person to do stuff like this, but I know it was from God because he made it so important. Like, he made me sleep longer. I have a child. Usually I cannot get a good night's rest to even dream most of the time, but tonight i got a very good night's rest and he kept me in a heavy sleep so i would not forget any details of this dream so throughout the dream the dream is not the important part the sim the symbolic things of the reason things were like that the way they were set up in the dream are what sim what um is important here so first important detail is at her concert there's a whole bunch of people watching her, which means what God is trying to communicate to me through that was she has a lot of people watching her. We all know this. Every, a lot of people watch her. A lot of people love her. They follow her. Whatever she does, they will follow and support if they're her true supporters. And that's what that symbolized, all those people. And I was one of them. I support her also so that's why I was there but I was different from the rest of them everybody else was excited and just wanted just excited for her music and I was just there to observe her as a person and I was really I really wanted to meet her for business reasons and um so in the dream she fit she physically got kidnapped but that's not what it actually meant Yes, she physically did get kidnapped, but what God revealed to me is that no, she did not get she's not going to get physically kidnapped in the the um physical realm, but in the spiritual realm. There are going to be people that she is going to be surrounded by that are going to take her to places that are not good for her to be in and where God does not want her to be at. And that's the dangerous part. That's where the warning comes in where I was calling for her she didn't listen that was God calling for her through me he called for her for her to pay attention and she did not in the dream she did not listen so that's why I'm telling her so maybe if she watches this she'll understand when she sees the signs they're gonna be warning signs it's not gonna just happen out of nowhere she knows because she knows God she has a relationship with God and she knows when he is calling her voice so, in that dream, she, I warned her as God put me there for that specific reason, to warn her. So, sometime in the future, and now she wasn't pregnant in this dream, so it has to be sometime after. I'm thinking like in the near two to three year future, maybe even four, but I feel like that's a little far off. And... I didn't see Queen, uh, Clarence or any of those other people. I've just focused on her. He, they're not the important parts of this dream. It's her. And basically, she, she got kidnapped. And we did not know where she went. And I don't want her to get to that point in life where she doesn't know how she got to this point. 
And I feel like if she lets these people bring her to their side of things, she's going to be under attack constantly in, in the spiritual realm. And it's not going to be good for her. She's going to be stressed. And it's going to be really scary. So, that's the warning. You need to be careful of who you are surrounding yourself by, who you, around, who you are letting your children around. You need to be observant. You need to watch. And even now, watch. So you can catch and try, kind of hint out who it is. I'm really praying that you catch it. I really am. Because this is going to be a matter of life or death if you let it get too far so be aware of who you're around i'm talking to queen now I'm, I'm as if she is watching this video be aware of who you're surrounding surrounding yourself by because they're going to take you to places where you do not need to be where you absolutely do not need to be and I don't want to see you be drawn to the dark side and you know that God has called you for something totally different. So I just plead and beg of you to answer when God calls your name. Do not ignore him. Do not say, oh, what I'm doing is more important now. I can't let down my fans. God is the only person that matters right now in your life. He should be at the forefront of your brain every day that you wake up. These supporters, yes, they they love you and all this, but at the end of the day, they're not God. They, they have nothing for you. Nothing for you. God has everything for you. He wants the best for you. And he wants to keep you out of harm's way. He wants, to, he wants you to, you're on assignment. He didn't give you this platform for no reason. You're on assignment. So I just need you to take heed to this warning. And um, just be aware of who you're surrounding yourself by. But that is the end of the dream. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, Queen, I really hope you see this video. And um, um, I know we don't know each other personally. But um, I want the best for you. If anything, if this scared you, I'm sorry. I'm just here. This scared me when I woke up and had realized that I had the dream and God told me, hey, you need to get this to her. So, God works in mysterious ways. I don't understand why he used me, but he did. So, um, I love you, queen, and I want the best for you. Keep on. You know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And fix where you need, fix the things that need to be fixed so that you can get on the right path. But, um, alright you guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want to see more videos, I'm pro they're probably not going to be so much like this. But, um, if you want to just support me and as God, um, helps me to grow and allows me to see 